fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. This is a story of one of the most mysterious characters to appear in the early days of the West. He was a fabulous individual. A man whose presence brought fear to the lawless and hope to those who wanted to make this frontier land their home. He was known as the Lone Ranger. These rich rangelands are part of the Circle K Ranch. Owner, Sam Kittridge. Biggest, most prosperous ranch in Mesa County. And more than any other man, old Banty Bishop, Sam's foreman for 40 years, has helped to keep it that way. But now that Sam is dead, and his young, inexperienced son, Bob Kittridge, is returning from the east to take charge, there are ambitious men, ruthless men, who would stop at nothing to gain the Circle K for their own greedy ends. Why, you dead blasted farmers? I'll give you your money's worth of trouble. <laughs> Take it easy, Pat. The next one will have your name on it. Put him up, Pat. It was nice meeting you, Mr. Devers, and thanks for all the advice. I've been living in the East so long, I feel like a regular tenderfoot. You'll learn fast, Mr. Kittredge. Like I said, if you ever need a good foreman, just ask for Red Devers. <laughs> well, thanks, but I'm afraid the Circle K could never get along without old Batty Bishop. Wonder where he is. He was supposed to meet me here. Oh, here he comes. Boy. Oh, Sandy. <laughs> How's everything at the Circle K? Well, sir, it's all snarled up, Mr. Bob. That's why I'm late. We got a form of a posse. Posse? What's wrong? Because I was held up by some white-livered, chicken-hearted, sneak thief and bandits, and they got away with the ranch payroll. I don't mean to butt in, mister, but this old geezer's lying to you. Me and my partner both seen him this morning burying something in the sand behind your barn. Looked an awful lot like a chest to us. Why, you ornery critter. He's lying to you, Mr. Bob. I, I ain't never buried no chest. Uh, of course he didn't. Mandy wouldn't steal money from me. It's easy enough to find out who's lying. Just go dig behind your barn. Maybe you should, Mr. Kittredge. In all fairness to Bandy here, he looks like an honest man. He should be given a chance to prove it. Well, there it is, right where we saw him bury it. Why, well, this just ain't true. Mr. Bob, I tell you, I didn't put it there. It must have been one of them three bandits. That doesn't make sense, old-timer. Never heard of bandits would rob a man and then bury the money in his boss's property. You don't think I done it, do you, Mr. Bob? Well, what else can I think? As Red says, your story just doesn't make sense. I'm sorry it has to end this way, Banny. Well, you, you mean that I'm through with the Circle K? Oh, don't worry. I won't prosecute you. We've got the money back. But I do want you off this ranch by sundown. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, I'll get off right now. But I want to tell you something, son. You ain't the Kittredge that your Paul was. If you was, well, you know there'd be some trick to this. You... Well, Red, if you still want that job as foreman, I guess it's yours. Thanks, Mr. Kittredge. You won't be sorry. Well, come and note the ranch house, Red, and I'll sign you up. All right, Mr. Kittredge. For sale, Circle K Ranch. Interested party, C. Red Devers, foreman. Red Devers, unless I'm mistaken, Tonto, we have caught up with our old enemy at last. Me think you right, Kimosabe. Him use different names, but him always break law in the same old way. The Circle K Ranch. Why, that's one of the finest in this county. No man in his right mind would want to sell it unless he were forced to. Plenty strange. Ranch never for sale till Red Devers become foreman. Not so strange, Tonto. It's no accident that every time Red Devers becomes foreman of a ranch, 
It's put up for sale a few weeks later. Maybe the owner of Circle K outsmart Red Deavers. I'm afraid not. Young Bob Kittredge is a tenderfoot in these parts. Tear off the sign. I think we'd better investigate. Oh, Silver. Oh, Scout. We camp here, Kimasabi? No, Tano. I think I heard something. Listen. Sound come from over there. We'd better take a look. Come on, Silver. Well, you can't get a cent out of me, stranger, because I'm broke. No job, and I'm through. We're not going to harm you, old-timer. You certainly look down on your luck. I'd like to help you if you'd let me. I, I ain't worth helping. I tell you, I'm all washed up. No, you're not. Nobody's ever washed up if they don't want to be. <laughs> Come on. Sit down and take it easy. Much obliged. Mind if we pitch camp here? Why, no, not at all. Just take off your gear and make yourself at home. Hey, you know something? I kind of like you, mister. Mask or no mask. I like you, fellow, is you, too? Oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Why, the drum hole. Feeling better, old timer? Yeah, you bet your life. You know, funny thing? You fill a man's belly full of grub and vittles instead of spirits. <laughs> Makes a heap of difference, don't it? <laughs> Tell me more about this Red Deavers, Betty. Well, he's... Why are you so interested, stranger? Because I know he's the leader of a gang of outlaws Tano and I have been after for a long time. They've been moving in on gullible ranchers all across the country, beating them up and swindling them out of their property. Why, George, that wouldn't surprise me a bit. You know, ever since this fellow Red Deavers took over my job as foreman of the Circle K, he fired all the old hands on the ranch, and then he fetched in his own fellas to replace them. And now he won't let no one near the place. Just the same as if he was holding poor Mr. Bob a prisoner. Poor Mr. Bob? Yeah. Thought you didn't care what happened to the Circle K anymore. Thought you disliked Bob Kittredge. I do. And anything that this Red Deavers and his gang does to him, he deserves it. Even if they force him to sell his ranch? What, sell the Circle K? Oh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Bob wouldn't do a thing like that. <laughs> no, sir. Him do that. We find a sign like this posted around town. Let me see. For sale, Circle K Ranch. Interested parties see Red Deavers foreman. Well, what are we going to do? Why, it just wouldn't be right for anyone else to own that there Circle K ranch except the Kiss Ranch. Now, nobody welcome there but ranch buyers, me find out. In that case, we'll just have to get interested in buying a ranch. Not too much gray hair, Tonto. This disguise has got to look good enough to fool everybody. When me finish, Kimosabe, even old Banty not recognize you. Just so Deavers doesn't recognize me, that's what counts. Remember, he's no fool. How you get to Circle K Ranch, Kimosabe? Silver not look like horse old man would ride. You're right, Tonto. I'll need a wagon of some kind. Something to fit this disguise. I'll have to wear some other clothes. Me ride into town. Get them for you. Tonto, be sure that you don't arouse any suspicion. There, me finish. Lone Ranger all hidden. You wouldn't take a pot shot at a half-blind old man now, would you? I just come to see about this here ranch for sale. You wouldn't take a pot shot at a half-blind old man now, would you? I just came here to see about buying this ranch. You don't look like you've got money to buy a ranch. Oh, oh, it isn't for me. You see, I'm representing one of the biggest ranch owners in Boone County. 
Okay, Grandpa. Come on in. We'll let the boss talk to you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Devers, I reckon we just about made a deal. You can tell your boss he won't be sorry. The Circle K's a fine property. I'd sure like to know who you're acting as agent for. Well, you see, uh, Mr. Devers, my boss wants his name kept out of the deal. Of course, uh, if you aren't satisfied doing business through his agent... Now, don't get me wrong, Grandpa. I don't care what his name is, just so his money's good. Uh, well, I reckon that's about all. Yep. Guess I better be going now. Oh, say, Plumier forgot. Uh, Mr. Kittredge hasn't said it's a deal yet. You don't have to worry about him. He'll find the terms satisfactory. How do I know he will? He hasn't even heard him. Nope. Can't go back to my boss and tell him this deal's settled till Mr. Kittredge himself has said so. Okay, Grandpa. I'll see if I can get him. Hasn't been feeling so good lately. Uh, had an accident. Uh, bruised himself up considerable. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Not again, Devers. Don't beat me up again. That's just so you'll pay attention and do exactly what I tell you. Now listen, there's a buyer outside. We're going out to see him. You tell him you want to sell the ranch. Oh. Oh. Poor Mr. Kittredge. He sure sounds mighty sick. Here's Mr. Kittredge for you. Poor boy don't feel much like talking. Sorry to see you looking so poor, Mr. Kittredge. I told him about your offer, and he agrees to all the terms. That, uh, correct, Mr. Kittredge? Them terms satisfactory? What? Oh, yes, yes, I agree. Uh, sure you won't, uh, change your mind now? No, take the ranch. I don't care what the terms are. Any old price, I... I just want to get rid of it. Poor boy. He just wasn't cut out to be a rancher. Well, you satisfied? Yep. I reckon I found out everything I need to know. When will I be back with the money? Hmm, let's say four days from now. My boss will bring it himself. Your boss? I thought he wanted to keep his identity a secret. He does. That's why he'll be wearing a mask. A mask? Oh, <laughs> won't scare you none now, will it? He can wear whatever he wants to, just so he's got the money with him. He'll be here. Goodbye. <laughs> Hey, big fellow. We'll be heading back to camp as soon as I get rid of these clothes and the whiskers. How about Mr. Bob? Did you see him? I saw him all right. What was left of him. I've been beating the poor kid up. Beating him up? And you left him there? Don't worry, Betty. They have to keep him in good enough health to sign the bill of sale. That'll give us time to get some help and go after those outlaws. Where are we going to get any help? Why, every rancher in this country is scared of that there Red Devers and his gang. Then we'll have to find some men who aren't scared. Are you, Batty? Me? <laughs> Not by a jug fool. What about the other old-timers who used to work for the Circle K? Would they be scared? They're not scared of nothing. Think you could have them here in four days? Could I? <laughs> I'll fetch you a whole legion of them. Legion of old timers. It no work, Kimasabi. Old timers no match for young tough hombres like Deaver's men. I know it, Tano. But it's our only chance. Somehow you and I have to find a way to help those old timers win. Come on, Pete, get out of that tub. 
job if he wants a job back at the Circle K. I'm not coming. <laughs> Circle K needs you. How does everyone understand exactly what he's to do? Remember, young Bob's life is at stake. If Deaver suspects anything before I get into the ranch house, he'll kill Bob at the drop of a hat. Give Tano and me ten minutes head start. Then you know what to do. Now. Right on time. Yeah, and wearing a mask. Just like that old coot said he would. Got an Indian with him, too. Howdy, men. Howdy. Come along, stranger. You're expected. Go on in. The boss is waiting. Tommy, you wait here. I'll take care of this business as fast as I can. Me understand, Kimasabi. Right on time, friend. Mr. Kittredge here has got out of a sick bed just so we can sign the bill of sale. Come on, boss. Let's make it legal. Oh, you don't bother. What do you say? What do you say? Post the gun, quick. Now look here, and we got nothing against you. Drop gun. Now sit down. You got me, don't you? But you haven't. That shot I fired, my man heard it. He'll be covering this house. He'll never get out alive. Kimasabi! Kimasabi, you all right? Be too sure of that, Devers. You ever hear of the Legion of Old Timers? Those old has beens they're no match for my boys. It's not strength that counts, Devers. It's courage. I don't aim for their guns. We'll even up this fight. You take care of Deavers? You bet I can. We won't spoil their fun, Tonto. We'll give them a helping hand without letting them know it. Out the back way. Uh, I reckon you fellas misjudged your mistake, didn't you? Yeah, you call me old. Uh, me! Where's the rest of them ornery coyotes? <laughs>
Well, I guess I don't know my own fighting ability. All right, men, reach high. Andy, put them over there with the others and tie them up. <laughs> It'll be a pleasure. These dad blasted ordinary critters. <laughs> we sure showed them, didn't we? Come on, you get going. Come on, hurry up, Mark. You two, I mean you. Go on, get on there. Dad, blame your hide. <laughs> uh, Mr. Deaver, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Hey, hey, Mr. Catchman, hold it. Hey, Mr. Bob. Bob. Well, Mr. Bob, we got those hombres all rounded up. You got any orders for the day? No, Banny, you give the orders. I'm not worthy to. I just wish there was some way I could reward you all. Oh, it is rewards we want. We want just good old plain honest work. Well, if that's all you want, you've got jobs the rest of your lives. That goes for the masked man and the Indian, too, if they want them. Oh, those two fellers? Well, I'm afraid that they got more important things to do. Say, wait a minute. Haven't you ever heard of the Lone Ranger? The Lone Ranger? Thank you.